Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a cute cat inside of a Christmas wreath. Uh, it's going to be simple, easy, and completely for beginners. I'm going to walk you step by step through the whole thing. It, the whole thing is only eight minutes, so it's super short. Uh, so definitely stick around the entire eight minutes. Stick away all, all the way to the very end so you can learn the whole thing. Real simple. I mean, I'm going to make it simple. So that's it. Let's get started. Uh, before I do that, don't forget... Uh, definitely hit the subscribe if you like learning how to draw Christmas drawings or if you like learning how to draw Halloween drawings. Um, this is a seasonal channel, so when that season rolls around next year, you're going to have exactly what you need to start drawing, okay? All right, let's get started. I'm going to go over here and draw a slightly curved line here for the bottom of one uh, the cat's ear. Curve over here for the other side of the cat's ear. Curve along the top of the cat's head. Over the right, same shape. Let me even it out a little bit more here. Point out, out, in. In, see, let's see, out, in, there you go. Okay, so we got the cat's head shape. I'm going to draw a triangle inside the ears, like a soft, small triangle. <laughs> going to draw a curved line for one eye, curved line for the other eye. Upside down triangle for the nose. Curve for one side of the mouth here. I'm going to curve for the other side of the mouth. Line, line, line. Line, line. <sighs> okay. And I'm going to have line down for the body, at least the starting of the body. And I'm going to, it's going to end right here in a circle, right here in another circle. And that's going to be the paw. Line, line here at the bottom. Line, line. That's indicating that it's a paw. Doing good so far? Alrighty. Between his hands, I'm going to draw the middle bottom part of that wreath. It's gonna look like a little cloud. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the outside of the wreath. So it's gonna be in a circle shape, right? Um, but it's gonna be easier than a circle because it's gonna have a texture to it. So it's gonna have this, there's gonna be a lot of stopping, right? That's why you don't really have to worry too much. It's going to be a lot of stopping. There you go. So we got to make that look like a wreath. What I'm going to do over here is draw almost a marshmallow shape up there for the middle of the bow. Line out, line out for one side of the bow. Line out, line out. Line down here, up. Line down here, up. Circle. 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 Right here, these are all ornaments, right? That's kind of what we're trying to make them seem like. And we have them all over the place. Perfect. So let's add a little bit of color to this. Or, well, not or, but and, but this is an optional thing. You can uh, give this outer edge 
uh, like a thicker line and I'll do this real quick okay this is optional this part it kinda makes it look better when it's contained within a line There you go. So you put a thicker line around the whole thing. So let's uh, go in with a green for the grass. Remember that, I'm gonna go in with a marker, but just remember that things go down darker than you always think. So as far as marker goes, if you can use a crayon or colored pencil. Uh, I'm just gonna use a marker because it's easier to demonstrate with. So that's why I'm gonna use that. Cause it's a little, it, it just goes down quicker, right? It just like soaks in right there. So let me know what you're gonna do Christmas, if there's anything cool, if there's anything exciting. I um, write in the comments. For me, I am just gonna do a small uh, Secret Santa. And that's mostly it. Well, obviously, I'm going to do a little thing with the family as well. Uh, Secret Santa just with like a small group of friends. Nothing too wild. And then uh, family is going to be, uh, I think, Christmas Day or so. I think that Christmas Eve, actually, the night before. So incredibly excited about it. There you go. See how quick this is with a marker? Um, but like I said, I, I, color pencil does take a long time. Crayon, I don't often use crayon to color any, any like, um, I think it still works really well, but uh, I've been trying to use pastels. I haven't, I haven't really, I have pastels that a friend gave to me. I haven't really touched them though. I, I've been planning on doing that for a while. So eventually I'll get to that. There you go. Sorry, I'm gonna have my hand in the way for a while. Forgive me. Got that cat there, just kicking it. Let me know what else you want to see on the channel. It's uh, definitely important for me to hear your guys' voice and what you want. So, let me know what you want in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like if you think this is cute or you enjoy the little lesson here. Uh, pressing like is uh, a big deal on the channel. It really affects uh, everything. So definitely, you know, do that if you do enjoy it. Um, if basically if my stuff here is worth your time, uh, you know, like bomb, like bomb me is that what they call it? Like bomb, go around and like all the videos that you that you enjoy, you know, like on the channel. I'm gonna put pink here just for the little bit of the nose here, and then the inside of the ears. And I'm gonna grab maybe like a, I'll grab a blue. And I'm gonna go over here and start filling in some random ornaments here. Just randomly all over the place. I guess blue, I'll do one more blue. Let's do like a red here. Um, see the red, my red here is pretty much gone. There you go. It's kind of surviving. I forgot about the bow. I gotta color the bow red. Don't forget, I have full lessons if you want to learn how to draw from scratch, if you want to learn how to draw like, you know, uh, anatomy, if you want to draw portraits, uh, that stuff is all on a link in my description on Skillshare.com. Go check that out. Oops, a daisy. Here, let's see. Um, one second. Uh, I'll make like an orange or a yellow here for the remainders. 
Oh, that's too small of an edge here. Let's pick a yellow over here. And I'm just using different kinds of markers, nothing specific. I do recommend Prismacolor because they don't smear the other colors, which is pretty cool. And there you go. Well, that's a cat in a wreath. I hope you find that adorable. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you next time.